Hello, my name is Leo Lighter. Welcome you back to this video series where we're taking a look at getting up and running with Substance Painter. In this video, we're going to take a look at the display settings as well as the visual settings. So with that said, if we go over to the texture set settings and we look all the way at the bottom below where the textures are, you can see we have display settings and we have the visual settings. First of all, let's go ahead and look at the visual settings. If we go ahead and look at this, there's a few options that we may want to uh, look at here so the first one is the environment opacity if we click and drag this up or down you can see that we can increase or decrease the opacity of the environment and we have the environment exposure so we can go ahead and make this brighter and lighter so i just to go ahead and click the little pencil icon here and i'm going to go ahead and set this back to zero next that we have the environment rotation so this is going to rotate um, the environment and as you can do that you can see that we're going to get shadows in different uh, locations that is when we enable the shadows which is the next option right here that says shadows so if we turn this on you can see that now we have shadows inside our scene we can go ahead and choose the shadow type so in my particular case I'm going to go ahead and choose intensive computation and then as you see if we move around or rotate we're going to see that the shadows move around there so that's the very basics of um, the uh, visual settings here. Let's go over to the display settings and you can see that we can activate some post process effects. So let's go ahead and enable this. And what we can do is we can look at the different options that we can enable. So the first one I'm going to go ahead and look at is enabling the anti-aliasing. So if I just go ahead and increase this or turn this on, then we've now got some basic anti-aliasing. Now we can, if we want to go under here and start dealing with color correction, depth of field and so on and so forth. But for now, uh, this is going to be perfectly fine. You can go ahead and look at these options if you want to. But for now, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like this video, please rate, subscribe. And uh, until next time, bye bye for now.